Hi. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is a very busy day. I had an orthopedic appointment to figure out what was wrong with my arm. Turns out I have tendonitis, so that's awesome. Clover, Clover. Are you done? Hey, move, move. I'm using the window for natural light uh, before I head out. I am, oh my gosh, I am going wedding dress shopping soon. So I am currently waiting on my sister and Jay to show up and we are going to head to Smithfield and then my mom is going to meet us later on. Say hi, Clover. My good girl. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm just kind of waiting very hopeful. I already went dress shopping a couple days ago and it was not successful at all. So fingers crossed I find something that's a reasonable price in that uh, I'll be able to get it. So, yep. Hey Nero, wanna say hi? No. Oh, sweet kitty. I love my cat so much. Can you tell that I'm trying to like slowly pack up my house. I have these boxes that need to be filled. I've only filled up these two containers so far, but I also have a couple other boxes going on in the guest room that I'm filling up. And I'm that whole pile right there are things that I need to donate. Yeah. Nero keeps getting in the bags. Yes, you do. And then there's Clover. She looks evil. Like, she just has, like, an RBF at all times. Clover. Yeah, she does. But she is just the sweetest girl. Not even sorry about how much I love my cats. Really not. You up in boom, 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 sh boom, 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 me I'm the only one that you know. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. So I sat down to edit this video and then I realized I never closed it out. So that is what I'm doing. I never wear a jacket in my house and I'm doing it because I just got out of the shower as you can tell and I'm not wearing a bra because obviously I'm about to go to bed and I'm too lazy to go put one back on. So I'm wearing a jacket instead. Um, today was exhausting but it was very productive and I did find myself a dress and it is not one of the ones that you just saw in this video. I'm trying to keep it a surprise, even for my bridesmaids, so very few people even know what it looks like. I'm not even sure if my dad will even see those pictures my mom took. If he does, that's cool, but whatever. Um, yeah, so the process was actually kind of interesting. Uh, the second place we went to was just Carolina Bridal World. Carolina Bridal? Carolina Bride? I don't... Crap, I don't know what it's called. But it's in Smithfield, North Carolina, which is about 30 minutes from where we are right now. And they have such a great selection. I think the most expensive dress that I tried on was right under $1,500. Um, the dress I got was actually one of the least expensive dresses that I tried on all day, which is just a little ironic. Um, my mom ended up stepping up and saying that she was going to pay for it, so I really do appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, so now I need to look into getting it altered. So the thing is, is they actually had the dress I needed in a size that was bigger than what I was going to order. And they basically said, hey, if you want it right now, you can have it. And we'll give you a slight discount because of some wear and tear on it. And um, I just need to get it altered, basically. And so the only part that needs altering is, like, the straps. So that's what I'm going to do. So the dress is actually hanging up in my closet right now. And it's in a blue bag. And... Just need to make sure Ian doesn't see it. Um, yeah, so it's, it's been a really productive day. I am absolutely exhausted. I don't think people quite understand how much effort goes into trying on dresses. And the whole time, like, yes, you're looking at the dress itself, but you're also, like, low-key critiquing yourself at the same time. And... 
that's something that I just kind of wanted to address really quick is like it's not a secret that I'm a bigger girl and that's something that I kind of want to work on myself just to become healthier it's not necessarily because I'm bigger but it's because I am also a little bit more sluggish and I'm just tired all the time so it's something I'm gonna work on anyway but what I'm trying on the dress is that shouldn't be like in the forefront of my mind and the other day it just it was overwhelming me um, another thing is I'm I hate my arms so much I've got like the biggest arms ever you can't really tell in this jacket the jackets not helping me right like helping my stance at the moment but I just no so like the whole time I was trying on dresses if my eyes automatically gravitated to my arms or my stomach I just didn't want anything to do with it um, and then today I don't know if it was just the atmosphere or the consultant or maybe I was just in a better mood but I was actually seeing the dress for what it was and I was seeing the bigger picture and I was happier today and I had so many in my maybe pile and it came down it really came down between three dresses and they all had completely different looks and um, I just kind of stuck with my gut instinct and I, I put it back on and I tried on the dress that they said hey you could buy it today if you want it so I put it on and I literally turned around to my mom, my future mother-in-law, and my sister. And I said, this is it. I'm like, I don't want to try it on anymore. Like, this is it. So, yeah, I didn't cry at all until, like, after they put the veil on. And um, I was fine. They're like, so you really think this is it? Like, are we done? And I was like, yeah, we're done. And then I just kind of looked at myself in the mirror. And that's when the tears started coming because I just... I realized how happy I was. It's not just the fact that I'm getting married, but it's like who I'm getting married to. And then I could picture myself on my wedding day surrounded by my closest friends and family. Um, our goal is to have just our immediate family and our very best friends, like in our bridal party there. So it'll be a really great day and I'm really excited. And it's actually going to be sooner than expected. So be on the lookout for a date because we will be announcing that hopefully with the next week or so. And uh, yeah, that's all I've got for you guys today. So if you're not a subscriber yet, you might want to just go ahead and click on the subscribe button right below and even click on that bell so you'll get notified every time I post a video. See you soon. Bye. If you liked this vlog, please consider subscribing. Why is it so hard for me to say that? Why do I suck at doing this? Oh.